Hi everybody, Simon here, Drowning in Love, number seven. Getting towards the end of the story. Joe had got some brochures from May's shop. They'd met, fate had put them together at last. He had the lightning bolt, the thunder lightning struck him. He's uh, in awe. Can't believe such a beautiful woman speaks such good English. Remember, he's no family, never been married. Why now is he being struck like this? Who knows? Only a few more weeks left of this holiday. He's taken the brochures back to his hotel. He's looked at them all. He's going to have to book a couple of day trips. He's found a condo that's only half built not far from Patong Beach in Phuket and it's the best of all of the ones he's seen price is right but he doesn't want to buy half built he wants to wait till it's finished it's going to be after Christmas before it's finished so he's thinking everything's good a couple more shifts back on the USA company a couple more certifications to do I can then sell everything in the U US or maybe rent it for now but I can leave that company come and buy the condo start work for the in the Asian area for the companies everything's looking good all on target fabulous on this morning he uh, he comes in to the bar so he's been out he's had breakfast comes around to the bar gets a drink Nan's in the shop May's not there yet He's got all his brochures and he's thinking how I need to get a date with this girl. I must get a date. Anyway, he sees May arrive. She didn't spot him. Gives her a few minutes to settle down. Pays his bar, his tab. It's a beautiful day. Sees blue, sun's out. It's right. In he goes, walks in, says hi to Nan. Nan smiles and hi says morning May and May smiles ah oh Joe how are you just take a seat and he sits down and he just tries to make some pleasantries with them and they're yeah 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 all this anyway pulls out the brochures and he books a one day trip to Koh Phi Phi Koh Don Phi 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 Island he wants to because that's the main big island in that sort of bay estuary and he books a half day trip um, James Bond Island and a couple of, the other, a couple of the other islands not really fussed on the beach stops and things so he books two trips with her which is going to be at the end of the week one on the Friday one on the Monday pays all the monies and says that's brilliant thank you very much then he plucks up the carriage and says to May, you've been so good to me and helpful. I would love to take you out for dinner. Can we go for dinner? Any restaurant you like. And mate, oh, I'm really sorry. It's just really busy at the moment and it's not really professional. I've got so much happening at the end of this week. Um, I'm going to have to say no. Really sorry. Slap across his face. On your bike, Joe. <laughs> and he's deflated and he's, oh, okay, I understand fully. He says, thanks very much. I'll see you girls soon. Up he goes, out. And again, he's embarrassed, so round the corner, heads up the road. He's booked his trips. Moving on, down the week, he goes off on the, the PP Island, has a good day, really good. Walked around the islands and walked up to the top and loads of photos. Looked at the coastline of course and the water and the oceanography. That's on the Friday. The weekend he's pops back down to the bar. Doesn't see May. Nan's there. He thought I'll wait until May's there and I'll go and tell her about the trip. But he doesn't see her. Weekend flies by. Monday, he goes off and does the half day, comes back after lunch about two-ish, he's right, 
now I've got to go and see if I can get this date again. And he goes back down to the bar, grabs a drink, looks in, only now and again. Oh, where's May gone? And he thinks, oh, I've got to check, see what's happening. Pays his bar, in he goes. Hi, Nan, how are you? Hi, Joe. Says, so is May about? Says, no, May's gone to Malaysia for a week to sort out all these big tours that we're doing. Oh, his, his heart dropped. She'll be back um, at the end of the week, Friday or Saturday. A week, he's not going to see her. Oh, and he's oh, deflated again. He said, oh, she said, can I help? He said, oh. he said, I'll wait till May comes back. I'd like to deal with May. And Nan just smiles and, yeah, she knows. Yeah, he said, thanks a lot. I'll, I'll come in next week. Off he goes. So he's found his condo. He's starting to fall for a girl that's not fussed with him at all, really. He's in Phuket. He's, he's just like kid in the candy shop you know, he's a, but he can't reach that candy anyway he's just the whole week he just sort of mulls around and a bit <laughs> sad and spends some time at the hotel a bit of shopping long week for him very long week eventually the week goes by the weekend come the Monday down to the bar Nan's again but my own mate Right, I've got to find out. He goes in, hi Nan. He said, oh May, I'll be in in a couple of hours. And he thinks, oh great. He said, do you think she'll come out for lunch? And Nan said, no, too busy. He said, what about if I buy you girls lunch as a thank you for my trips? And Nan said, oh, that's a good idea, yeah. Free food, of course. And she tells him what they'd like and where he can buy it. He said, I'll be back in a couple of hours and we'll, I'll bring you lunch. That's it, he's got a present. Out he goes. Goes round to where the cafes are that she's pointed, just to sort of check out the area. And he finds another bar, sits down, has a drink. A couple of hours, shoot by. In he goes to the cafe, orders all the food. Put it all in takeaway bags, great. Doesn't matter what the price is, but it's not a lot. And he heads back to the shop, and as he comes round, into the shop, May's there, she's got a customer with her. So he thinks, okay, and he goes and sits down by Nan and puts the, all the packages on the table. She's like, she grabs all the, the bags of food and it turns around to the little kitchen bit at the back. She goes and starts putting it all out on plates and things. Or the polystyrene boxes onto plates and then Customer finishes with May, off he goes and Immediately Joe pounces, hi mate, how was your trip? And May's surprised that he knows about it and he's like, oh it was it was very good, really busy and we've got some work off it and really, really good. And she said, how's your trips? And, and he starts explaining how great they were and everything. And they brought her lunch as a thank you. And at that point Nan turns around and puts all the food on the tables and May's, oh that's fantastic, thank you so much. And they all sit and eat lunch and all lovely pleasantries. This time Joe doesn't ask for another day. He thinks I'll come back in to get a, a try again. And he finishes all that, says goodbye. Said, I'm thinking about some more trips. I'll come and see you. Amazing. Oh, fantastic. Bye bye. Thanks for lunch. Off he goes. Again, not to his bar, round the corner back. He's sat in his hotel plotting how he can get different types of date with her. Oh. Tuesday, next day, again he's round. It seems that Nan opens up the shop. May comes in later, 11, 12-ish, but she stays there right through till about midnight every day. And he's round his bar, got his drink. In he goes to Nan. Hi Nan, is May in today? Yes. So maybe look at some other trips, I don't know. And Nan says, Joe, tomorrow is May's birthday. And at six in the evening, we're gonna celebrate, we're gonna close the shop. We're gonna go and have a picnic on the beach. Would you like to come? I think May would like that. And Far's coming. 
and it'll just be the four of us. Oh, he's not going to say no, is he? She says, I'll bring all the food. Far's going to bring the blankets and the bits and pieces, Catherine. Could you maybe bring some, some drink? And she tells him what to bring. Wine. Mm, okay. Put the bottles of wine. That's it. He thinks, right, I'm not going to see May today. He's like, oh, he's won the lottery. Fabulous. Okay. Out he goes. Avoids that area for the day. Next day he's thinking, oh, I won't go in. I'll just, because it's a bit of a surprise probably. I'll just float around the hotel for the day. Goes off, buys some wine. Buys three or four bottles, over the top of course. He thinks, birthday. Maybe I'll get May a, a birthday present. But it can't be too personal. Not at this stage. <laughs> what stage? Flower shop. And he finds a beautiful orchid in a flower pot that she'd be able to put on her desk or on one of the desks in the office in the shop. And he gets this orchid, gets it all wrapped up lovely. Brilliant. Come half five, Nan had explained where on the beach they were going to be. Half five, he's there floating around on the beach already. And they don't come till six o'clock. This guy just walking around in circles on the beach. You, maybe you've seen him. <laughs> With bottles of wine and flowers. Hmm. On Patong Beach. Six o'clock, they close the shop. Around they come, Far's there. And Nan and May. They come down to the beach. And May's surprised, you know, that of all this. This is wonderful. And then she sees Joe with bags and stuff. And they, oh! And Nan explains, oh, I invited Joe. I hope you don't mind. Oh, that's fine, yeah. And they get on the beach. They set up the blanket, the picnic baskets, and all the rest of it. Anyway, they start drinking and eating bits of food that uh, Nan had brought. And then, well, maybe after an hour, they're getting a little bit tipsy. Nan and Far say, look, we've got to go. We've got some other stuff to do. Great picnic. Thanks very much. We'll leave you two. We'll see you tomorrow. And they make their excuses. And, and Nan winks at Joe. I mean, she just set him up for a date that he couldn't get himself. Good girl. May is getting a little bit tipsy. At this point, Joe pulls out the present and says may i bought this for you it's a thank you for everything you've done for me and my appreciation blah 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 and she opens it all up and she says oh this is beautiful remember she's a little bit tipsy this is fantastic thank you so much and just leans over and, and sort of pats him on the arm <laughs> okay and then she opens a little bit opens up it and starts asking him about his his job because she's never asked and he briefly over five minutes explained what his job is and she's quite amazed and wow this is all exciting then he spins the table and asks her how come you're not married or had kids or if you don't mind me asking because she's tipsy she starts blurting it all out um, maybe she's held it in for so long I don't know but not told many people but she came out with the whole story of the guy the problems all the abuse and how that put her off a relationship and focused her on her work and the business so much that's why she's so driven um, and she talks for a good half an hour at which point she stops and ends up sort of tearful oh I'm sorry I shouldn't have told you all this and burdened you with my problems and perfect English and starts apologizing and Joe immediately, look, honestly, it's so nice you've uh, confided in me and I won't talk to anyone about this and it's really nice and really, really lovely. At which point he says, uh, maybe it's time for you to go home and uh, says to her, I've only got a couple more days left. Do you think we could, um, I could take you for a meal, a lunchtime or an evening meal? And May says, a lunch. Let's have a lunch together. Um, two days later, we'll have a lunch together. So we, she says, "Let me pay." It's so my thank you for your generosity. At which point he helps pack everything up and 
amazing. I'm going back to the shop. So he walks back to the shop with her. She's a little bit tipsy. She goes back to work. <laughs> she opens the shop up again. He carries all the stuff into the shop. Says, brilliant evening, thank you. And she leant forward and pecked him on the cheek. First contact. Mm. At which point he exits and thinks, I'm not pushing my luck. I've got a dinner date. A couple of days later, off he goes. His next couple of days fly by. Dinner date comes. He comes in, grabs her from the shop. They go down the beach, midway down near his hotel. Nice restaurant. And he says, let me pay because I'm going for a better restaurant. And I'm a man. I just, the way I've been brought up. And she's, mm, yeah, all right, whatever. And they have a beautiful Thai meal and sit and talk about life for an hour, hour and a half starting to get to know each other and May's actually starting to show an interest in him he's been a perfect gentleman they have a lovely lunch and Joe says look I've got to go tonight I'm off back uh, stateside but I'm coming back in the first week or so of December maybe I can come and see you and we can carry on from here May, yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be absolutely fine. He walks her back to the shop, says his goodbyes to Nan, and uh, says, "See you soon." And off he goes, skipping up the road. <laughs> He's starting to get obsessed with with May. Um, but it's fate putting them together, maybe. That's it, Joe's heading off to the USA. And we've gone a bit longer today, but let's leave it there. We'll see you on episode eight. Bye for now.